the fence. It looked like he just had one for hatchery. And yeah. uh, no creep spread either. Like, so it's kind of hard to get those reinforcements in as well. Second map here is going to be Bonnie Research Station, guys. A very long map. Let's jump into this one right now. Down here in the south, in the blue, Berserk player, it is Losira. Not looking as confident here in game two up against this guy, Tian from Rocket Gaming, the big sponsor. Mm. World or Nerds? That's what the sleeve says. I don't know. I okay, just it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, it's what it says. Like this is not something I just said. Um, yeah. I'm glad you mentioned that Losira actually doesn't look at that confident anymore. In the makeup room, he was like laughing hysterically, like he was going crazy. He was super energetic. He got in the booth. He was smiling. He was looking confident. And he gets shut down there in game number one, just being a little bit too cocky, maybe. You know, with that kind of play that he was going for, like I was mentioning, just trying to be too cute. Like I, I think he just underestimated Tian in yeah. that game. I think though, now he's going to take him seriously, and we're going to see that you know true Losira form come out. Well, this can, game I, number two. can I go on a wolf rant here for a sure. second? Because I this is this is what I like to do, and I've been doing this a lot recently, but I, I have fun with it. Um, if this was like year 2012 or even like early 13, um, people would say, well, you know, at that time Lucier was way out of form, and people were wondering if he was even going to like retire because we just weren't seeing him play well at all, and he wasn't being sent out in GSTL that often, even though he was one of the best for them for a while. Uh, but he, on the other hand, at that time was doing really well. I think he made it to a GSL Finals to uh, fight Sniper in ZBZ in Las Vegas. Uh, he was doing well all over the world, and he excelled at the Zerg versus Zerg matchup. When people were calling, um, you know, the GSL, like GSL Code Z for a while, Hyun did insanely well that season. It's like, his Zerg versus Zerg was a matchup he was really good at back then. And people say, why? Well, he was on uh, what people called TSL Team Swarm Life because it was a team that was full of Zergs. The only players on TSL that were having success were Zergs. Uh, a lot of them still around today. Symbol, Ragnarok won his uh, challenger match mm -hmm. in GSL yesterday. And today, of course, you know, Hyun is playing his match as well. Um, you know, they're still out there. They're still around. He's got great ZVZ, like, in his brain from the old times. And so he obviously had some really good reflex and some good decision making. And I feel like that's kind of what we saw in that last game. He didn't do anything crazy special. I mean, that cool sport call we saw at the end, or at the beginning was pretty sneaky. But in, in this, uh, this game, he just played reactionary and he knew exactly how to handle what Lucere was throwing at him. Yeah. Uh, and I think that comes from just a lot of experience of ZBZ. It's actually pretty good for Young, now that you mentioned that, that he got this for the first matchup. He's possibly, he's in a good position now at least to take out a, a huge player in Lucere. A guy who's been doing so, so well in Pro League, so. What do you think about these Lings? He pulled all these Lings. Well, um, it was just six, and then he kind of hit him. Yeah. And now once the Overlord got out of the way, he's coming across the map. I guess this is just going to allow him to get a scout no matter what. Like, there's no way he can stop six links from getting in the base, right? Like, even two gets in here in this case. Could be going for, like, a queen snipe. I think there's only one queen in the main right now. And he's totally undetected. Six links can do it. This is some sick preparation out of Hyun. Look he, at this. He's, like, weaving in and out of all these overlords. He's totally undetected. Look at how he carefully monitors exactly where the overlords are. He's not going to come in here. Oh, my God. And he's going to go for this queen. You're exactly right. And look, the... Oh. No, he's just going for drones. Well, I mean, the queen, of course, would be protected by the drones, but if the queen got too far away, would have sniped it. Any drones that made a mistake, he would have gotten that too. Ooh, what about this queen? Nope. He's going to get this around. Drones are being pulled. He needs to save this queen. I think he will. No, actually nope. he won't. He's going to go down. And three links survive. He does have link speed on the way, but of course it's a ways away. It's not going to pop into effect anytime soon, but still kind of being a little bit annoying here. Droning up back at home. This isn't the end of the world, but it's another one of these snipes, like uh, the support caller snipe we saw. Yeah, I mean, just in general, getting one queen this early is really, really good. Forces him to make another one. Yeah, and it also... Misses an inject there on that hatchery. Exactly. And not, not only that, um, but he gets a scout no matter what. Like, there's yeah. no way you could stop Sixlings from getting in the base at this stage in the game. We're going to see a very aggressive attack from Hyun as well. Uh, making a Baneling Nest here. Although, Losira as well making what looks like... It looks to be a defensive Baneling Nest. Just droning behind it. Let's see how this goes. Uh, if he weaves in now the overlords again, he might be able to sneak this one by two. There are three overlords on the map. They're all towards the left side for Lucera. And Hyun is pulling the links. And look at that. Oh, 
Gets uh, the scout there. Losira will see that. Yeah. Nettlings coming in here right underneath the Overlord. He just needs a couple Banelings and he should be okay. Yeah, he's going to need to get those out. The last is about to finish here. The Evolution Chamber goes up on the back. Not sure about that one. He's trying to morph here on the ramp, but the Lings are already there. Yeah, uh -oh. it's actually, I don't even, I can't even understand why he's trying to do that. Like maybe he just simply didn't see. I mean, he saw it, like he had vision of it, but maybe he just wasn't looking. Maybe he didn't actually see this coming. And this happens sometimes. Uh, I mean, this is just StarCraft is a game where sometimes you just get blindsided. Great drone splits here, but he's losing a ton of mining, and there's no answer. He has no banelings. Great hit here on the drone. He's going to pick off the queen as well. One more hit will eliminate the rest of these harvesters. And uh, is it just oh, it? Man. He's just doing way too much damage, man. GG is calm. Losira looks not happy in that booth. Young. I think you're right, Wolfie. He is so, so ready for the ZBZ matchup in particular. He's looking on fire, man. And he is just so well prepared. So well prepared. He's dodging every single Overlord. He's watching them. He's following them. He's avoiding them. Like, you lose that queen, you lose some injects. You make a, lo a round of drones, you're missing that inject. You don't have the units out. You can't morph failings. You're, like, desperately trying to morph them on the ramp. Too late. Everything lines up perfectly. Very, very tight build there by Hyun. That was sick. Yeah. I don't even normally like this matchup that much, but <laughs> watch this. I'm like, Today it's Whoa. good because of Hyun. And now he's like chatting to Losiri. He's like bad mouthing him in his chat. He's like, ha, that was easy. You scrub. Get out of my game. No, he's, he's definitely not doing that. We don't see any chat, in fact. But but he, he's got to be happy. Losiri just types in the chat, good work, like, good job. <laughs> yeah. Hyun types an informal. <laughs> in reply. I guess Hyun is the young, I would assume. Yeah. Results-wise as well in individual leagues for sure. Even though the has got that dope pro league record, man. <laughs> Don't dope touch it. Don't has touch him. Bat records over there. Pretty tubular, but I don't know, going into overgrowth, man, I don't wanna I don't wanna fight Hyun. This is the knife fight matchup, and you're in an alley a dark alleyway. 